All right, we've gotten over the biggest hurdle, which is setting up our little lighting world for the mid shots. Now we're going in for the close up. This should be very quick, and it's going to follow the same system every single time. If you're going from that sun wrap look that we just did, 12 by bounce, 12 by overhead, 12 by neg, it's going to be the same thing, right? Now, as we go in closer, if we walk around here, all we're going to do is we're just going to bring everything closer and have even more control because we are going to be in tighter. So we can bring in all of the instruments and get more control out of it. So whatever results we got previously, we know we're going to be able to get those and better because now we can control where the subject is looking a little bit easier. I can physically, if I'm operating the camera, I can reach out and touch all the diffusions and all the negs so I can, I don't have to ask anybody else. I can just make little minor tweaks and every 1% that I'm getting better, uh, the image is getting that much better and it really starts to add up quite quickly. So from here, I'm going to leave everything pretty much as it were, and I'll jump into the camera itself. And let's go find our position, right? Because we want to be on something slightly wider, and we're going to be closer. So let's try like a 35, and we'll come in here. And again, same principle with the idea that we want to not interfere. Like we don't want his head mixing in with the car in the background back there. We don't want to be above his eye line. Let's actually get his eyes in focus here, see if that works. Something like that, right? Like, that's not great because it's messy and the horizon is cutting through the top of his head. I wanna be just a little bit down and I'm gonna play it a little bit more towards the sun, right? We've lost an hour. Okay, so the car is in the background. It's a little bit mixed in with the top of his head. Let's come down a little bit. And again, just remember, I would probably be playing this somewhere in between there and there for the background. It just feels a little bit down. Uh, and then that's not bad, right, for a close-up. And it's strange that you would be doing a close-up on a 35, but we talked about the before and the lead-up. This is sort of what we like. We like this look. There, he's actually in focus. Okay. So we take that still. That's if we change nothing, right? We've just moved in. But we know we're going to change some things. First off, I don't like that car in the background being like that. So I'm just going to, again, use just cheat it a little bit. doesn't have to be much. Let's just see if we cheat it a little bit. Uh, that might be too much of a cheat. We'll have to bring it back. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. And then we'll just push it back a little bit so it's not as competing. Let's see what that looks like. So again, just pushing that car back. That's a little bit better. It just feels a little bit more off in the distance. It's not as distracting. Then with everything else, I'm probably, rather than move this, because this 12 by 12 can be a bit of a pain to move when you're going in for the close-up, oftentimes I will just try and get more out of it so now let's angle it like we didn't want to do before. So to get more level out of it, we're just going to angle it towards the sun so that the level coming down from the sun is hitting here. It's almost straight up now, right? It's almost noon. It's going to hit here and it's going to bounce in. And it's going to be too much level for us right now. Let's, so let's think that now that gets us another stop out of that ultra bounce. So if we come in here, right, it's too much. Well, it's not too bad, but it's still, it's a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is uh, then I'll bring in a 4x piece of diffusion, and I'll put that right off a of camera. So let's put that right here, lift it up, twist it around. And again, this is not a lamp. This is just diffusion. Um, and then we'll really place this thing right where we want it. And if we come in here and overhead, again, I want it just so that it's just hitting that, che that cheek, that near side cheek. See up there, too far back, too far back, too far back, right in there. Okay, that's our spot. And if we come into the camera, how are we doing for exposure? Way over, right? We've gone way over in exposure. So we'll knock this down. Let's do something like that. Again, just diffusing the bounce light that is already there. And this, this thing should be on standby. So as soon as they call cut, you just wheel in this thing. And uh, it's probably not enough now. Probably took too much out of it. So instead of the half grid, let's go quarter grid and take this up to 75. And we jump in here, and that's too much now. Okay, instead of, we're not going to use quarter grid. Maybe we use quarter grid and a 4 by net, which would take another half stop out of it. So let's do 50 here, and let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's not bad, right? And, well, what about that leak that's coming down the side of his head? Now that we're in closer, remember we were just on the edge of frame last time, we can bring this thing way further around and rotate it around like this. Rotate it even more. And now, is it in the actual shot? Let's see. Okay, so now it is in the shot. But see how it affects that jawline? Right, that little tiny edge? We like that. So I'm going to come back here, and let's just... Uh, actually, we'll get the monitor up first. 
Let's get the director's monitor, and then we will just ever so slightly move this thing over. So let's move it until we can't see it. Right there. Can you see it? Oop, just there, and then I'm going to rotate it this way. Right, like that. Okay, now we jump back in. We can't see it, but now we have that little tiny edge down the side. We're balanced with the background. It's done very, very quickly, right? Use the level that's already there. Use all the tools that you already built up. The less stuff you move in between the medium shot and the close up, the better. Let's just bring everything closer and tighter so that we can actually fix it and fix it much faster. Like if you want to make a change to the medium shot, it can be difficult to do because you got to, you know, if you want to affect the 12 by bounce, that's going to affect your neg. So you're going to have to move the 12 by bounce. Then you're going to have to move the 12 by neg. And then the levels that you're getting out of the background lamp or the background bounce, you're going to have to adjust that too. Whereas this, if we have all of the elements and you can reach out and, again, if we jump out here and walk around, you know, you can actually, you can reach out and touch this. If I'm shooting, I'll just angle that 4 by to where I want it. I may pull it in a little bit or push it out a little bit just to lose level. Same with uh, in the background back here with this thing, right? Like I may just push it to the side. I may bring in this neg a little bit more. I might ask for a 4 by frame instead of the having the 12 by 12, right? Because maybe I want to take away a little bit of this top light. Uh, those are the things that I would be looking for. And this is, see how easy and quick the setup is. Really, it's just bringing in a 4 by frame and then readjusting all of your levels and not by much. Whatever that 4 by frame takes away in terms of diffusion, right? The more, the closer you can get the, di the diffusion to the actual talent, the, the nicer it is going to look and the more control you're going to have over it. And we want control, right? That's the name of the game. So we want to get that diffusion as close as we can get it. And we end up in a spot just like this. So we grab this still. And let's just say, oh, it's, you know, they say it's too dark in the background. They don't like the level of darkness. And the agency comes back and says, that doesn't match what we were doing before. Uh, well, you can have it like this, right? But then we just got to lower all of the levels around us. So we take level away from the bounce. We take level away from the backlight. We pull out the neg so there's less of that. Uh, we're just reducing everything at that point. But I like the way that this looks. So send them just, and also when it's just a single like this, I always aim for the little laughing lines down the side of somebody's face right there. That's just enough. I don't like to be fully centered here, but I don't want to push them way over there either. So I just try and get that center dot right on those lines on the outside of the mouth. And again, we're just below the eye line and taking a still. Jump out here. We'll go back to our storyboards. And let's see what it looks like. Come out, come out, come out. And here we go. So we jump from our medium shot. This is the 4 by medium shot to that, right? That's the better key level, right? We just need a little bit of heat. See how this, this one, it feels really flat because this level here on the side of his face is sort of in line with that background and with the back edge light. We want a little bit more crunch, a little bit more contrast. That's why we just lift this up. And again, I would if I was there on the day and I had half stop increments, I would try and get that background just a little bit brighter, like another half stop in the background and then adjust all the levels relative to that because I like the shape here but I would want it doesn't sit right. It feels a little bit lit because we don't have that much precision control here inside of this program. But I like where the angles are coming from. I like the workflow to get there, right? Use the tools that you've already built up. There's not a whole lot of infrastructure here. Again, it's neg, always behind the camera, right? You want it behind the camera. So you're cutting off all of that forward pushing light. Then we're adding our little edge down the side. Our overhead is nice and easy, something thin. And then we've got a diffused bounce that is happening from over there. That is the close-up. Now, we should be breaking for lunch now, and we're going to come back and shoot the worst stuff that we possibly can, which is going to be the insert. I don't mean the worst in terms of quality, but least important for the time of day. We don't want to go straight into somebody else's close-up or a big wide shot. We're going to go into the insert shot of the flat tire next.